Greetings Laddingtons, I'm checking in from a sun-drenched and paradise-like Scandinavian landscape. I'm checking in with some insights. Now I'm hardly the first one to talk about this, but I just wanted to add my voice to the choir. The choir of lament. No, nothing uh, so defeatist, I assure you. But uh, anyway, I wanted to talk a bit about fatherhood and how fatherhood and fathers are being portrayed in culture. And just having a look at mainstream culture, you see the dad as being a character of not so respectable nature. You see him more as a joke. The only thing he's good at is uh, giving out money to his wife and kids, etc. His wife doesn't really find him attractive, doesn't respect him. His children do not respect him either. He is, um, yeah, the punchline of a joke, seen as lazy, stupid, weak, fat. All he does is drink beer and watch the football game on the couch in front of the TV. Now compare this to how fathers were portrayed a hundred years ago. You know, you had a kind, loving, good man who, you know, inspired respect and trust in uh, his family. And, uh, you know, you can view fatherhood in two different ways. What kind of father do you want to be? Do you want to be a, you know, a safe haven for your family? Do you want to be someone they can always trust? Um, both in terms of safety, security, and also in trust of doing and knowing what's best for everyone. Um, can compare this if you have a ship, if you want to travel across a stormy sea, you have the option of two captains. One captain is you know, confident, knowledgeable, uh, experienced, he knows what he's doing. Then you have a captain who seems a bit unsure about himself, um, doesn't really inspire confidence, who will have the most common collected crew and passengers. Yeah, of course, the um, competent captain will um, inspire the most trust. And the same thing with a family as a father. In my view, at least, you should be the captain of uh, the ship. You should steer it you know, away from dangers. Uh, if dangers appear, you confront them. You should also know, you know, in terms of wisdom and knowledge, what to do. Your uh, role as a father should not only be to provide, but also to protect and to serve as a teacher, a mentor, um, a safe haven for your children and for your wife. Now contrast that with the mainstream portrayal of a father who's, yeah, basically a joke. Uh, so that is what I want you to think about when you think of a father. I want to be a high thumos father. I don't want to be a joke dad. Didn't, even, didn't know what else to call it, but uh, you know what I mean. And so that is the first thing we need to change in culture. You know, the gravitas of the father. Um, getting away from the dad bod dad who, who's lazy in front of the TV and get to the, you know, esteemed and respected and loved patriarch of the family who knows what is best. So for me personally, again, I want to be a patriarch who takes care of his family. Even into old age, you can have grandchildren, etc. And they can look upon you to know, you know, this is a man I can emulate. Then of course you can have mentors, etc. that you can emulate too. But you want to have that sense of, you know, calm composure. Then something else I thought to mention, and I want to say something first, and that is, I want the best for you because you are on my side after all in this great struggle of our civilization. Mainstream culture and the people who work in mainstream culture for the most part they don't really like you at all so you can choose who to listen to. You can listen to me or to them and you can decide which is um, the best advice, who gives, who portrays the best course of action. Now the way I see it, mainstream culture, they don't want you to be a father, they don't want you to be strong, happy, healthy, they want you to be a subjugated servant to their agenda. I want the opposite for you. And what I see they are trying to portray is, you know, fatherhood as being the end of your youth, the end of your youthful energy, the end of your 
individual quest for glory. This is true, you can be a, an entrepreneur, you can be an artist, a martial artist, an athlete, a writer, whatever you are, you are on your path towards greatness that you've been working for over a long period of time. Becoming a father does not mean you have to quit. It doesn't mean that you suddenly only do fatherly duties. You can view it as having an additional job, an additional responsibility. But again, for me, I envision myself now, I want to conquer as much as possible. In terms of the clothing company and the supplement company, I want to conquer as much as possible. Now I also want to be an author, continue writing good books that many people appreciate. These two goals, being in conquest mode in terms of entrepreneurship and business and writing books, they are completely in congruence with being a father. There is absolutely nothing that says that I have to, you know, go away from my vision, from my path upwards to glory. I can still do it. Same thing for you. You can still be the best athlete, you can be the best musician, you can be you can be all of these things whilst being a father. So instead of viewing fatherhood as, you know, now you are a father, so now you cannot do anything, you cannot be a high thumos youthful man anymore, you need to cast that away. And also it depends on how you view yourself. You can of course be completely domesticated. You know, getting a dad bod, now I'm a dad, so now I have the excuse to not set the pace high in the Temple of Iron. Um, that's up to you, but then also, in terms of what sort of father figure you want to be. Do you want to be the dad bod dad, who is the joke, who is the punchline in every joke, or do you want to be the respectable patriarch? Yeah, if you want to be the respected patriarch, then you have to still maintain your discipline, then you can't use being a father as an excuse to not set the pace high. Of course everyone is short on time, I'm short on time too, but I know I need to train for a number of reasons. And I suggest you do it too, so you don't become, you know, trapped in that mentality of now you are a dad, and a dad can only do certain things. So view your own quest for glory, straight, forward, upwards, and then you have a family also. They don't need to be in competition with each other, I assure you. And uh, whenever you think that way, I want you to remember that that is the vision being presented to you by an enemy that do not like you at all. I, your friend, want the best for you and I say you can have both. You can have your own quest for glory and be a father. So, to conclude, we need to reinvigorate the high thumos father and we need to combat the dad bod dad, the joke dad. And it's up to you what you want to be. So I encourage you to view fatherhood as something good and something that is completely in congruence with what you are already doing. And don't let it completely consume you. You still have your own vision for the future. So yeah, I hope that made sense. Now a last note on everyone who has ordered clothes or my book. There have been severe delays, especially to the US and Canada, so keep that in mind if you have ordered and if you want to order. It might be uh, a few extra weeks await in uh, the worst case scenario, so keep that in mind. But thank you kindly to everyone who has ordered. Much appreciated. So anyway, thank you for watching. XXO. Boom.